models, used in Teledyne PDS, Dredge. This movie introduces you to the different models, used, in a general PDS dredge project. To guide the dredging, in the PDS acquisition, are different model types shown. Usually in the plan, and 3D view, the grid, grid difference, or the dredge tolerance model. And in your profile view, the grid, and the design model. From the dredge control bar, the active design, and grid model are selected. It is just a matter of selecting or show in the plan or 3D view a model. It is just what you want to see. But what are these models we just shown? And how do you create and get them in PDS? Let's have in this movie a closer look to these models in PDS. We distinguish the following model types. A grid model. A design model. A 3D model. A grid model difference. And a dredge tolerance model. First the grid model, or also known as digital terrain model, DTM. The grid model represents the current height of the Earth's surface for example the sea floor. Usually the grid model is created by an echo sounder or multi-beam survey. Besides depths the grid model can also contain different values such as standard deviations, hit values, etc. In general are the depths the values of interests in a dredge project. The grid model is copied to PDS and then you can make it the active grid model. Making it the active grid model means you will update this model during dredging when the logging is turned on. So remember, the active grid model is the model updated during dredging. You need a grid model to have an indication what you dredge. Let's see how to use a grid model in your PDS dredge project. How to import or create a grid model from ASCII file. How to select the active grid model and how to assign a color table. Just drag and drop the grid model in the PDS Explorer to import a grid model. The model is automatically placed in the correct folder. If you open the project page, the grid models used in your project are listed in the grid models folder. We drag and drop grid model. And we have added the grid model in our project. Aware that the grid model is in the same coordinate system as your dredge project. Right click on the model to open a file management context menu from which you can delete, edit, or rename a file. The grid model can be opened and edited from the grid model editor. Double click on the model to open it in the grid model editor or open the grid model editor from the toolbar. The grid model editor opens. Press in the grid model editor the zoom extents button if the model is not shown. From the drop down list you can select another grid model. You can show your model in 2D or 3D. The grid model editor is also used to create a grid model from a data file. Aware that the coordinates in this file are in the same coordinate system as your dredge project. Let's see how to create a grid model from a data file. In this movie, we will not discuss the whole process and all options, but just quickly demonstrate the procedure to follow. Press the New button to create a new grid model. Select the data. You can create a model from logged PDS data files from other data formats. Or if you have no data, an empty model. For many projects, you may receive the grid model data in a ASCII XYZ format. We will demonstrate how to make a grid model from this data. Select other data formats and press the data selection button. Press the add ASCII data button. Select 
and open your ASCII XYZ file. Press next. To import the file, you have to run the ASCII import wizard. Press the ASCII import wizard button. The import wizard opens. It is possible to have and create a specific import configuration. But in this example, we start from scratch. Select Use Wizard Settings. Press Next. You have to define how the columns in the ASCII data file are separated. In this example by a space character. This means we select the delimited option. Press Next to continue the wizard. We select space as the delimiter character. You have to define the column formats. Right click on the column and select the format for the column, in this case easting. Repeat this for the other columns. Right click and select the proper format. And as last, this column too. If the first lines of your file contains text, then this text must be ignored by the wizard. Select the checkbox on set the number of lines to skip. In this example the file did not contain text, and we did not need to skip lines. We click finish to complete the ASCII import wizard. See also the PDS user manual for a complete description of the ASCII import wizard. And again, we click finish to complete the data selection wizard. Now we have to define the cell size of the new grid model. Do not select the too big cell size. Using a big cell size will result in a rough update of the grid model during dredging. Usually in dredge applications, a cell size of 0.25 meter or smaller is used. Select the cell data of the grid model you create. The data you receive contains heights. This is by default selected. Press the Create button to create the grid model. Enter a name for the grid model. And click Save. Let's see the grid model in 2D mode. In this example, the data has not a high density. Only one depth for each 2 square meter. We should interpolate the data. Open the interpolate page of the grid model editor. There are different interpolate modes. Circular, triangular, directional, and single beam interpolation. In this example we interpolate circular. Enter the maximum gap distance. And press the interpolate circular button. The data points are interpolated. And a grid model we can use is created. For so far, the grid model editor. In acquisition, remember, you have to make your grid model the active one to have it updated and to monitor the dredging. You can make it the active grid model from the dredge logging settings, or more easy from the dredge control bar, the survey model selection. Design models. The design model indicates the required height of the project. This model is usually created by drafting software converted to the PDS 3D model format. But it is also possible that a certain grid model, a tin model, or a flat surface with a set height is used as a design model. A design model can be dragged and dropped into the PDS Explorer and is automatically placed in the correct folder. In the project page is the 3D models folder, the grid models folder, and in the advanced page the tin models folder. We will now demonstrate how a design created from drafting software in the DXF format is imported in the 3D model editor and is used as a design model. Right click on the 3D models folder. Select New File. Enter a name. And click Save. The 3D Design Model Editor opens. Click on the Import button.
you can import a DXF drawing, profile design model, or clipping polygon. Select DXF if you have a DXF drawing as design. Select your DXF drawing. The drawing is imported as a 3D design model. There are restrictions to the DXF file importing. Press the check button to check the created model. Any errors are listed in the info box. There are no errors in this example. Click OK to continue. The 3D model is added to the project. Select your design model type and file from the dredge control bar. The design model is displayed in the profile view. If you open the Guidance menu, the Guidance settings, then from the Guidance dialog, the Design Model page. You can add to the Design Model a offset, a Z shift, a Z lower limit, and the over dredge, and under dredge limits. Using the flat model design type allows you to use quickly a flat design. Enter the desired height level. The design model updates immediately. The grid model difference. The grid model difference displays the difference between the active grid model and the design model. It indicates clearly if you don't remove to less or to much material. The model updates online, it is not a model which is created or saved. If you open in acquisition, the grid model color mode. Besides the grid model settings, Z average, hit count or Z standard deviation, you can select Z differential or dredge tolerance. Select Z differential. The grid model difference is displayed. Remember you need to select an active grid model and a design model before this model is displayed. The used color table can be selected from the coverage settings. In the coverage settings dialog, the different available color tables for the different model types of our project can be selected. So, here we can select the color table to use for our grid model difference. Of course, you can also edit the color table. In Acquisition, double-click on the color table bar. The color table generator opens. Watch the color table instruction movie for a description of the color table generator. As you can also see in the color table instruction movie, in case of a difference model color table, around a difference of zero meters, a fine range of the colors is defined. Let's do this between plus and minus 1 meter. We enter as maximum 1. And as minimum a value of minus 1 meter. And let's say a step size of 25 centimeters. Click on the add button. And as you will see. Within our color table, a range of 25 centimeter between plus 1 and minus 1 is added. And on this way we can see our difference between the active grid model and the design model more clear. The dredge tolerance model. The dredge tolerance model is the same as the grid model difference but also contains the dredge tolerance as set in the design model guidance settings. It indicates clearly if you dredge within the specified tolerances. The model updates online, it is not a model which is created or saved. In acquisition, open the grid model color mode. And select dredge tolerance to display the dredge tolerance model. The coloring of the model is according to the dredge tolerance color table. On the right side of the view, double click on the color table bar. The color table generator opens to edit the color table. Edit, if necessary. The 
dredge tolerance limits are with respect to the set, under dredge, and over dredge limits. Open the guidance, design model menu, to change the dredge tolerance limits. Click on guidance. Guidance settings. Design model. And here you can change the under dredge and over dredge limits. So we changed the values, and kick OK. And we see that now the under and over dredge values are changed in the color table. Dredge logging settings. The dredge logging settings are not described in this movie. But it is good to realize that the dredge logging settings determines under what conditions and how your active grid model is updated. And with this, also your grid difference and dredge tolerance model. The dredge logging settings are accessible in acquisition from the tools. Tool Settings Dredge Logging Settings page The Dredge Logging Settings For the different log conditions, can be set. So remember, only if you apply with the log condition, the active grid model is updated, with the specified update mode. And because the grid model updates, the dredge tolerance, and grid model difference, updates also. Summarize, for dredging we use the grid model, design model, dredge tolerance model, and the grid model difference. Select a grid model as the active grid model. Only the active grid model updates and is saved. The grid model difference and the dredge tolerance model are for visualization only and not saved. The design model can be a 3D model, grid model, tin model, or flat surface. A DXF drawing can be imported in the 3D model editor. The dredge tolerance and grid model difference displays the difference between the active grid model and the design model. The used color tables can be edited 